Hello everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. If you are a frequent viewer of mine, you will notice that I am in a different room in the house. Um, my husband works from home and where I typically film is like right across from his office. And so I had to move elsewhere. And I'm probably going to make this particular location a like permanent area where I'm going to film because yeah, I film during the week and he works during the week and we've got to learn how to be in the same place and that is an airplane going overhead. Yeah, we have a private um, airport like a little bit of a ways away and that happens all day. So that's something else I've got to deal with. But anyway, um, on to the subject of today's video. I have been getting so many requests to do this and I'm finally going to be delivering. I am going to do a one year review of this beautiful Duty and Burke Florentine medium satchel. And then after I do a review of this, I will be doing a short what's in my bag because I always change up my bag, um, especially during every single season. And sometimes what I carry is a little bit different dependent on the season or what's happening in my life. So I will show you what's inside. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move the camera around and get situated to do this review. Okay, so now I'm really, really close to the bag, but I think that the there's a lot of what's in my bag um, videos out there and then they like don't show the bag the entire T of the video and um, yeah, I prefer to show you the bag while I'm doing this because that's what you're watching this for, correct? Um, anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to give you some information about the bag if you're unfamiliar, but I will also link the video that I did a year ago that has specifications and everything about this beautiful satchel. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked down below. Anyway, on to the review. So I have had this bag for exactly a year. I bought this last fall. Um, after watching reviews and seeing it in person, I fell in love because it has just all the warm kind of like cognac vibes that you want to wear and add to your wardrobe during the fall season. And um, if you are interested in this bag, now would be like a perfect time to purchase it so you can wear it during the fall. Anyway, um, I will be completely honest with you. I did not use her like every day all year round. So my review is going to not have as many of those details on wear and tear. I tend to change out my handbags so they don't really get like used heavily during the year. A better review might be like a two year or three year review for me because that's when it'll start to really wear in. However, I have learned some things about the bag from using it um, last fall. So yeah, I haven't used it since last fall and there are some reasons for that. First of all, um, I like pulling it out in the fall because of the beautiful color. This is the color natural. Um, it is still available on the website at Dooney and Burke, which I will link down below. Um, my little makeshift stand here is falling apart. Ah, okay, <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna probably have to not lift it up so much. Um, so my stand, it's like, it's like a desk with a box and then like a wooden crate on top. That's <laughs> what I've got going on. Anyway, um, the leather has like, it's natural. So there are going to be scratches on it right away. I have a little bit of some very faint surface scratches on top um, and a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, those kind of like, um, lighter marks right here are all surface scratches that are on the bag. I tend to like that on especially these natural tan bags. I love a really rustic look so I don't mind the scratches at all. Um, I will say so it does have these straps right here that are beautiful. They're um, these beautiful braided straps. They're not all that functional because this portion right here is your little zipper flap so it'll zip open here at the top and that's how you get to the inside of the bag and then it flips down as such but there is not that much space and I'm like a pretty like a 
I'm an average size person, but I don't have big forearms at all. And I found that it is not that easy to like put onto the crook of your arm. So these straps, although very beautiful, aren't that functional. So um, yeah, they're, they're not that functional. I'm just gonna say that right now. And then the other thing that I found kind of to be a con of the bag is the actual size of this flap. I do think that it's a beautiful um, design. However, when you are in a rush, you open your bag, you take out whatever you need, you zip it back up, and then you have to fold it back down and then pull up these straps. It's just not long enough. Um, so I don't know if there's anything that could have been done differently because then it messes with the design. But this flap right here is just not that big. So it ends up being more of a nuisance than anything else. Um, you could just do away with the flap and maybe that would help a little bit with the actual functionality of the bag. But then again, it takes away from the whole aesthetic of it. So for this bag, I found it absolutely necessary to have this strap. Now this strap is meant to be crossbody, but the satchel is actually fairly large and wearing it crossbody was just a little weird on my 5'4 frame. So I did double it up and I will show you how I did that um, to wear it as a shoulder bag. And this is how I carry the bag. I carry it over my shoulder. Um, I do get stopped a lot um, from people that ask me where I got the bag, who's it by, because it is just so stunning. People compliment this bag all the time. Um, and then the detailing on the front, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. Um, and you guys are probably going to be shocked if you, if you aren't into co um, collecting designer handbags or aren't familiar with designer handbags, but considering like my range, I have from Louis Vuitton, Chanel, all the way down to like Madewell totes. This is like kind of in the middle. So this retails for $438 on the Dooney and Burke website. I did, however, get this from the Macy's store with I think a 20% off uh, coupon. So I got it for around three something, which compared to the rest of my collection is one of my more affordable bags. So if you want a quality, beautiful leather handbag that is gonna last you a long time, um, I highly recommend checking out Dooney and Burke items because they're reasonably priced for bags that will last a lifetime. So um, I definitely think they're a little bit more underrated and you should definitely check out this Florentine satchel. I have the medium size. They do have smaller sizes. I believe there's a small and a mini, um, which may help with uh, the overall size of the bag to your frame. Um, yeah, so that's like just my, some thoughts. Oh, so another reason why I don't pick up this bag as frequently is it is so heavy. Um, the bag itself without anything inside of it weighs a lot. So if you are like, all your kids are grown and you have the ability to rock a handbag and you're not running after a toddler, this is a great bag to have. Um, but I do have a two and a half year old and I'm pregnant with my second child and this is just not a functional mom bag, to be quite honest. It is beautiful, however. Um, so yeah, just something to think about. So before I go into what's in my handbag, I am going to show you how I double up this strap because this is something that a lot of people ask me about. Shoot, let's see. I can do this. Okay, how did I do this last time? Oh, <laughs> this is how you do it. So in the center of the strap, there is a buckle and that comes apart. So your strap is two pieces. So the way to double up the strap, so you can wear it crossbody, like by adding these to the rings at the end and then just, you know, having a longer strap. This is how you double it up. So you will hook it on to one ring and then you're going to loop it through 
like so, all right? Then you're going to take your other side and you're going to put the ring on the same exact loop, bring the belt to the top, and then adjust your belt up at the top. So I think I have it all the way to the smallest, to the last hole. Bring this over. And that, my friends, is how you double up the strap. So now it's a shoulder bag um, and it fits really nicely on the shoulder. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick what's in my bag so you guys can see kind of what fits inside. A lot fits inside, um, which is why I do like the bag. I like that I can fit a ton in there. But however, the bag is already heavy and adding everything inside just makes it even more heavy. So let's just pull out some things. So there's a few pockets in here, which... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Um, you'll see it in the review of my bag. I'll mention where I'm pulling things out of, but I've got gum. I've got my giant <laughs> traveler's notebook. People may think this is giant. I don't think it's giant at all. I like a chunky notebook. This is from Planner Perfect. Um, this is the Cora Everyday Organized. And this is my planner, my agenda, my everything is in this. This is my sunglass holder. Um, I think my mom got the case from Amazon and these are my gentle monsters. I have mentioned this in so many videos. They are my favorite sunglasses ever. They are perfect for all my Asian friends out there that don't have a bridge in their nose because there's like an extended bridge so that I don't push up on my sunglasses all day. It's fantastic. Love it. I mean, the reason why I use this case is because the case that it originally came in, I tossed and got rid of. That case was, it, it sucked, to be quite honest. This is my makeup bag. Um, this is a Louis Vuitton. I think this is a large cosmetic pouch. They have different ones, but this is the one I have. It has that kind of like clam shape, I guess you would call it. Masks. Always got to carry those nowadays. EpiPen. I have asthma, chronic asthma. This pill box is so cute. I got this from Amazon. Ah, my voice. I always carry Tylenol and Benadryl, so that's there. Makeup. Um, not a makeup. This is a little mirror that's really dirty, as you can see all those fingerprints on there. Floss. Mini sewing kit. Eye drops. Two hair ties. And then I've got Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Biscotti, one of my absolute favorites. Always have it in my purse. Um, Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I use this as lip balm. Then I also have this Milk Kush Lip Balm. It's okay, it's not my favorite, but it's that time of year, guys, where my lips are always chapped, so I have tons of lip stuff in here. And then finally, I have these. These are those like nausea bands that you put around your wrists. Because I am pregnant, I am 13 weeks at the end of this week, and I'm like dying for these first trimester symptoms to go away. Uh, yeah. So what else do I got? Oh, I'm always carrying snacks, so I make my own trail mix. I have walnuts, raisins, and M&Ms in here. Granola bar. This is the Kirkland chocolate chip granola bar. I carry this around for my son. He really enjoys these. These are actually really good. They're the soft and chewy ones, and they come in like a huge box. Tums. Um, when I'm pregnant, when I was pregnant with my son, I had like I always had heartburn. Uh, yeah, so it's already started with this baby. So I'm always carrying Tums. Oh, these are my son's binoculars. He's so cute. He, um, my husband got these for him and he loves bringing them like to the park and stuff, but he doesn't know how to use it properly. He looks at it through the side. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, and then my wallet this is from the mulberry 
um, brand. I love this wallet. Again, I just thought it really matched well with this bag. And it is stuffed. There's a lot of stuff in there. All right, so that's everything kind of like in the main compartment. And then maybe I can show you this way. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, there's a beautiful um, interior with the red and the green, which is iconic to Dooney and Burke. Over here, I have hand sanitizer and more Aquaphor. And that came from these two. There's like two little slip pockets down here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's two slip pockets. There's nothing in the other slip pocket. There's a slip pocket right here and I have keys. And then there's a zip pocket in the back that I usually carry my phone in, but I'm using the phone to record. Yeah, so that's everything in my bag. Um, see, it's still, guys, this is a heavy bag. Um, yeah, so I will be keeping this in my collection for now. Um, it's just such a beautiful bag and I do enjoy carrying it in the fall. Um, so like my son goes to school three days a week and then, so like I, I don't have my toddler with me when I'm running errands on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's actually very easy for me to like use this bag on the days when I do have them. I typically will carry like a small, um, just a small crossbody purse cause I have his baby bag just so I can be more hands-free. And on the weekend, I have my husband's help, so um, we I do carry this bag um, because we both just manage manage Kai together um, on the weekends. But yeah, this is a gorgeous bag. It's a showstopper. Um, it it has held up really really well. But I will be completely honest with you guys, it's not the most functional bag. People may differ in opinion from me if you own this bag, but it's one, it's heavy. Two, these straps aren't exactly, they're, they're just not that functional. And then this whole flap thing, it just like, I'll, I'll pay for something, I'll zip it up and then I'll still be standing up and then I'm trying to, I'll be trying to get these straps and this is up. Do you see, like I'll be doing that when I'm just trying to get out of the store. So it's, as beautiful as it is, it's not exactly very functional. So my other favorite fall bag that I use, um, actually I use it more than just the fall, is my Mulberry Bayswater. It is a gorgeous bag and actually I do have it right here. Let me grab it really quick. All right, so this is my Mulberry Bays water. She is used, loved, and you can see like so much rustic vibes with this one because I use this thing to death all year round. I don't even just carry it in the fall. She is just gorgeous. Um, I wanted to do a review of this, but guys, this particular Bays water um, is from the older line of Mulberry. So this particular leather is hard to come by. They do still have the same style, just in a different type of leather. So let me know if you'd like to see a review of the Mulberry. Um, I just, I've hesitated to do it because it's hard to come by this particular bag. Um, but if you still wanna see the the shape and like what I think of the Bayswater, please let me know, comment down below and I'd be more than happy to do it because it is probably top three favorite handbags of mine. So anyway. Yeah, this was a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So many people have been asking me for a review of this bag and I'm telling you the dirty truth about this Florentine medium satchel. Um, let me know if you guys have this bag. Let me know what you think down below. Um, and until next time. All right, see ya.